man. This is uh so this dude is a super big inspiration to me. Um, you know, if he didn't do what he did, we couldn't do what we you know, what we do right now, man. He's he's been banging for a long time. He's grown up in hip hop since, you know, about the age of fifteen, from MCing to producing, the father of this, you know, hip hop media shit, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta salute that. So I'm gonna just bring him right in, man. Ladies and gentlemen. The one and only Doggy Diamonds. What's going on, fam? I'm great, great peace, everybody that can hear my voice on the now and everybody that listen on the playback on um all the you know, streaming platforms. Shout out to y'all for having me. Thank you, man. Nice. Honor, man. Honor, brother. Indeed, indeed. Thank yeah, you, thank now, you. I've been fucking with you for a long time, man, man. You know, Forbes D V D, all that, you know. My my brother yes. Raw Flush always talks highly about you. Trad, yes. so you know. Absolutely, man. Um Yo, Doggy, before we jump in, man, I just want to ask you a quick question, man. Did you hear about that Shug Knight shit? Yes, just heard about it. Uh, I was just looking at it a little while. I'm actually going to talk about it later on. Un- unfortunate situation. Um, you know, Shug is, a, is an inspiration to me because, you know, it was the first time we saw people get money. You know, we know of gangster rap, but his kind, his caliber individual, you you wouldn't think that he would be able to get to like a hundred million, you know, yes, yes. Via Dr. Dre, it seemed probable and possible, but you think when Dr. Dre left NWA, we didn't know what was going to happen with Dr. Dre. We knew he was talented, right. but we looked at the talent of, you know, um, NWA. That was, you know, the house that easy built, even though Dre was behind mm-hmm. the sound, but it's like, what the hell Dre, what the hell the death row records and all that? Like, nah, right. and, and Dr. Dre is rapping. Dr. Dre don't rap, you know? Right. So, right. So we didn't think it was going to work, and then, you know, they ended up making it work and bringing in Snoop and then just having a, a big thing. And then just the fall from grace, you know, of, of, of Suge, you know, I'm really, really paying attention, learning right. from his mistakes, you know, right. and, um, you know, also not all, not only the mistakes, you know, taking his victories and learning from his victories, but then you also have to learn from the losses. So it's crazy, but then we also have to be mindful that somebody died. So... As much yeah, as we right. worship the, the, the situation of, damn, that's Shug, you know, somebody died. So, you know, we always have to be conscious and um, respectful of the family to, to people who die. Because I think a lot of times when people get killed or somebody pass away, people be so worried about the celebrity and what they're going to do. We don't even take into consideration that somebody passed away behind the foolishness. So that's more yeah. important than Shug Knight, the, 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 you know, the man. You know, we got to be respectful of the 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 guy who passed away. Yeah, man. I, yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. Rest in peace. I think his name was Terry Terry Carter. I think his name was Terry Carter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, real quick on just on the, just to close that subject out, man. I I hate to say this, man, but they wanted Shook out of here for a long time, long time ago. You know I what I'm saying? So I'm just I, I just hope that yeah, no, I just hope that he don't end up dead and shit in prison, man. You know, because he's they look, twenty eight you know, years. Twenty eight years. I mean. That, 78, 78 to 78 or 79 when he could come out. So Yeah, I, you know. I think the issue is... Well, he'll get time, um, a lot of time t- for good behavior if he, if, he hold, if he do his shit the, you know, the right way, if he bid the right way. He'll come home in like 14 or 15 if he get parole. I think he gets parole I mean, like if he... I mean, I think the issue is more than anything is that, you know, my grandmother used to say to me, you know, because my grandmother raised me and she used to say to me sometimes, you better quit while you're ahead. Word. And I think a lot of times people are ahead and they don't quit. You know, and um, I I look at, you know, uh, a lot of unfortunate situations and I, you know, I quit while I'm ahead, you know, you know, when Tupac dying and, you know, you're losing your label and you're losing your empire and certain things happening. Like, when do you say, yo, hold up, man, everything is crumbling around me. I need to change. You know, you can't still be going hard in the paint like it's 1996, like you on top, you know. So, again, like I said, the biggest lesson that everybody could learn from it is that you know how you go from being one of the most powerful black men in the in in the music industry to being an inmate you know time and time again because he was he's been an inmate over and over while he's been you know he's been an inmate more than he's been rich you know he's been an inmate you know a lot so like i said for me that's not what i want for myself that's not what i see for myself so i avoid a lot of situations at all costs because i know how far i'm gonna go you know what I'm saying? And I I don't have time to give the government for no stupidity. Right. Real talk. 
Right. Do you think um do you think um with regards to the uh the situation with Death Row and, and what happened with that empire, do you think like labels like especially the ones like T D E because they're so close to that and they're from the same area, do you think that they, they looked at that and, and saw the good aspects of it and then said, All right, I'm gonna avoid these pitfalls by not indoctrinating the, the, the street culture into the music culture so deeply that it becomes so intertwined that we can't get out of this, so to speak. I think um I think the fans which which is us, you know, because at the end with me, even like fan first, I think the problem is that we expect too much from people. So you retreat, you a bitch and a pussy, but if you kill, you're stupid. You know, right. so even when yeah. it comes to street culture and music, right. you're, you're, you're in a bad situation. Right. Yeah, exactly. You're in a bad situation. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you're in a right. bad situation. So you have TDE, you know, um, a few of them have, you know, gang um, affiliations, you know, yeah. it's right. not school outright boys, gang. Yeah. 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 Right, school boys, but, especially. But, but what they did was they put the music first because it's a music right. business. I think what happened with Death Row, it was music first when Dre was around. And then when Dre wasn't around, after a while, it became about image and street right. activity. The music was still good coming out, but that was due to Tupac. That was like that was like the decline of Snoop was coming. The dog yeah, right. wasn't hitting anymore. Ray didn't put out nothing. So it was on a decline, but it was so much going on in the street, in the news, and it it just was just you know, it's the energy. You know, sometimes yeah, it's the energy, I, I exactly. try not to be around all this bad energy. But then again, when you got gangster you're a gangster rapper, you you know, that's what, what happened. That's what it's about. So, like I said, it's a Cash 22. If if you, and, and imagine if they was around during social media era. Some of them wow. labels would have, would have ended a long time ago. They wouldn't yep. even have had no five, six-year run. They would have had like a six-month run because social media, everything is in the now. Everything is right in the minute right now. You know, at least... When something happened back then, we would have to wait for the next source to come out, the next right. ride, the next double XL. Right. Now, right. Tupac, shit, yeah. yeah, Tupac would have been saying shit about Biggie right on Instagram, or right on, <laughs> you, you know, Twitter. <laughs> you imagine. Yeah, so it has just been so crazy, you know, but yeah, we didn't really hear their words because, remember, hip-hop didn't, you know, at one point, hip-hop didn't really get that much coverage. We didn't have to look, wait for Yo! MTV Raps or right. Rap City or then right. even the MTV Music Awards, you know, but it wasn't as covered as it is now, right. you know, social media where the artists can cover it themselves, though. The artists have made, you know, if you notice a lot of the blogs and websites is really going out of business because Instagram and all that stuff, you don't need that to get to the artists anymore. You have direct contact to the artists, you know, so... That's true. Um, yeah, I just think that um, TDE and a lot of, you know, Nipsey, we know Nipsey's a crip. We know he's gang yeah. affiliated, but he put the music after a while. He came out cripping, but then he started really focusing on the music. And it wasn't about him being a crip, it was about him being a man and making good music. And I think everybody eventually has to evolve from being the street. Because once you get money, you're not in the street no more. I don't give a fuck who you are. Yep. Stop front. Sure. You're right. not in the street. Yeah, no, you're not selling that. packs. You're not selling packs. You ain't yeah. shooting nobody. If you are, you're going to jail. Make yeah. good music. You know, good, make Absolutely. good music. Like anything in life that's going to change your uh, uh, living as far as that you're able to survive better, pay bills, and upgrade your life. Why wouldn't you cherish that? So when I be seeing people throw it all away to try to prove that they are street, I'm like, yo, you. Ch my, I always say if it's five dumb motherfuckers in the room, and you in there, guess what you are? Number six, you know? So mm -hmm. I don't even put myself in a situation where I can be around people that's going to make me jeopardize it all or risk it all. You know, I got too right. much going on in a positive Absolutely. way. And even if I wasn't doing anything in entertainment, I want to live and I don't want to be incarcerated. So I just really avoid a lot of shit. So anything that Doggy Diamonds get into is because that shit was something that I decided to do good, bad, and different, not because I'm influenced or I'm affiliated with right. idiots, because I don't surround myself with idiots. Uh, amen.